a uh, greeting Sagittarius and welcome to your reading and I would invite you to have a cup of tea with me uh, this is a ginger lemon and uh, something spicy for my fiery Sagittarius and thank you so much for supporting my channel and uh, today we're gonna start off with the sacred nature oracle and see what it is that we need to know what the guidance you are getting from the earth itself Sagittarius and uh, this is what I have for you today and the card uh, is sacred marriage with Sagittarius uh, you could have been coming into a time where you feel uh, the masculine and feminine energies that um, divine energy within you coming together as one and also you could be in um, a sacred marriage having maybe gotten married recently and uh, that is exciting for you and the plant that is connected to this is the kala lily and uh, the kala lily I have growing out I live in um, uh, the Northeast in Boston Massachusetts and they grow on my balcony they're very hardy but they're very beautiful so there's something about the number 12 and one and two is three. So when one comes together with another, that creates the two, which out of that is the three, that combining of the sacred marriage. And take a moment to reflect on this uh, beautiful uh, Kayla Lily and the number uh, 12. And thank you, spirit guides, for bringing us this affirmation uh, for Sagittarius. Um, as you reflect in this reading, you're going to have that connection to Kayla Lily. I remember my wholeness. I am both divine feminine and divine masculine. I reclaim this sacred marriage within myself. And what is it that that's going to mean for you? That's just words we hear that all the time like uh, join the anima and animus or the masculine and feminine or the uh, nurturing and uh, um, energy that goes out um, but it is saying that uh, this um, is an energy this flower represents the sacred marriage of sexuality and spirituality and fosters dignity and this feeling of acceptance around our sexuality and our gender identity. And this is gonna help balance those uh, male and female energies uh, within each one of us. And this Kayla means beauty actually. And it's a flower associated with fertility and sexuality uh, because of its phallic uh, shape and appearance. And so that is what I have. It is also um, this energy around you of purity, of gratitude that might come in a wedding bouquet. So there's something about the sacred marriage uh, and how you're receiving that is going to be unique to each one of you. And we'll begin with uh, the cards for uh, Sagittarius. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for uh, bringing uh, this reading to Sagittarius. And this is what you need to know right now. And you're coming into a celebration. Well, it could be uh, that you celebrated a recent marriage, actually, and bought a home, and it, coming into this whole new expansion with another person. And uh, that is also allowing you to join those energies within you. And join the physical and the spiritual together. And I look at, at the uh, bottom of the deck, the high priestess is there uh, supporting this reading, uh, supporting that integration of the physical and the spiritual uh, within our own bodies. Uh, and uh, that is <clears throat> what we are going to explore uh, through that sense of the Kayla Lily. And so it is, and this is what I have for my Sagittarius uh, today. And let's take one more sip of this gender lemon. And to receive that a gender is good for digestion and lemon is very uh, refreshing and a cleansing. 
So this is how you come into the reading, Sagittarius, with um, the energy of death. Well, something is coming to an end, a necessary end. You came through perhaps a natural rite of passage because if you're single and then you come into that sacred marriage, there is a change because you're alchemizing. And alchemy is all about a change. And death is just the symbol of moving from one uh, formation to another, one phase of a life to another, and to transform and have these uh, rebirths. And we go through rebirth all the time in our everyday experiences. But this is going to signify either a metaphorical a personal rebirth uh, followed by some very important change that came in your life. It could be the status of single to married, uh, coming into a sense where you're really dominated by one um, aspect of uh, your personality, such as um, if you're a woman just being uh, feminine and needing to integrate that more emperor, father energy of uh, going after what you want. But you are going to grow and be renewed. Uh, and there can also be a time where you're going to have to go into the unknown and change. Something's going to be very different. And you're letting go of the past, putting that behind you. And that's going to lead you to the empress. Well, to the being uh, this great mother, to something that is very productive, uh, creative energized uh, in terms of this procreative energy of having the ability to sit on your throne and receive well this is uh, that a polarity as we were talking of the divine feminine um, so you're joining that divine feminine if you're a woman with the divine masculine or vice versa and that's bringing in some new era you're putting something behind you so you can move forward and it's going to bring you a sense of creativity, personal growth, development. And it doesn't need necessarily mean that you're a physically pregnant, but you're pregnant with something new, a rebirth, or pregnant with a whole new self. It's going to be successful and lead to a lot of freedom, um, of material comfort, and abundance all around you. Um, and you could be uh, connecting uh, to a loving relationship to your own mother or to mother and child energy. And that's the sacred marriage is coming within you with a lot of sexual pleasure um, and fertility. <clears throat> and that is um, there because at the foundation, well, this is connecting to uh, this Capricorn energy of the earth. Um, and we have Taurus. Uh, here so there's a lot of earth here and with death is Scorpio so this is a plutonic energy of transformation of rebirth of resurrection and uh, it's coming because this is um, a mature energy of masculine energy at the foundation as uh, someone who is a great deal maker um, and can be a risk taker as well and you have been um, able to connect to this uh, energy who's a smooth talker, the breadwinner, somebody who is uh, very good at communicating uh, how things work in the physical world, a problem solver, um, hardworking, very uh, physically affectionate because the body is very important and loves to have at that root uh, Sagittarius, this influence is bringing you this um, empress energy, what's at the foundation is this um, masculine energy that goes after uh, what they want, all the trappings of success, such you could be buying a new expensive car or a new home, loving to have uh, elegant clothes and to, um, you see the vineyard here, to have the, all the trappings of um, the vineyard, it's hard to grow but you have that. And what's coming in the recent past, another a Taurus energy is the Hierophant. With Sagittarius, you're um, having this influence um, 
Uh, there's definitely, a, we have this sacred marriage and then the Hierophant is connected to uh, the ritual of marriage. And the Empress is uh, that great mother, that pro, uh, creative energy of the divine feminine. And so some, uh, you come into the energy with death, which is this significant change. Uh, you're simplifying uh, your life so you can receive this abundance of creativity and to um, have a lot of um, generosity around you financially at the root. And it's now a time for you to um, receive from the past some initiation, uh, some new contract or commitment. And that could be what led to this ending of one phase of your life so you can come into this whole new uh, rebirth. Uh, but rebirth in a spiritual sense, as above, so below. A new contract, an initiation. And you're going to choose this true path, this integral path, this path of a commitment. Um, and it's coming in a traditional way. That's what's brought you uh, to this uh, energy. And the King of Pentacles is very traditional, civic uh, duties, uh, is very generous. Wow. And at the crown is uh, the Six of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Well, that's what you're uh, coming into, uh, what you're knowing now, what's downloading, you're receiving uh, this energy of generosity. Maybe it's coming from the King of Pentacles, this Capricorn. But it's going to uh, give you this feeling of having more control of your uh, financial life. And that's what you're receiving through this commitment, through this contract, through this marriage through this sacred marriage uh, and it will become easier for you just to flow with uh, giving out of generosity and receiving and you're going to understand how that ebb and flow of finances work uh, and how to be um, successful and manage that because uh, there is a lot of wealth and commitment and tradition uh, traditional beliefs uh, having um, the authority to know what is above you and to uh, be generous with others to keep that flow going uh, and this is another card of flow though you got the figure eight the infinity sign so you know that even though you have all of this abundance that you have to be adaptable change work hard and change is in store for you you got the uh, death card which is a card of of change of uh, things uh, growing beyond where you are. And now you're gonna uh, have this time for new projects, a new financial uh, investments, and to uh, maybe pick up something that you had to put aside that you enjoy doing and are gonna uh, bring that into your workflow now. Because at the foundation is the emperor. Wow, well, you've got the uh, divine couple here, the consort. Uh, together. And this is um, a Taurus and Aries energy of fire and earth. And it's coming with this sense of a loving relationship maybe between a father and child. And you've got the loving relationship between a mother and a child. So there could be something about parents or connection or taking this leadership ability uh, over your life now that things are changing. And you're gonna um, maybe see that your dreams are being realized uh, at this time, Sagittarius. Uh, and you're gonna con assume control over this ending, uh, this completion, this rebirth, uh, this new era of your life, and to boss up and claim it and to protect your uh, self, but also to be very nourishing, nourishing of those uh, that you love and give that energy and flow, but also to join in that sacred marriage of joining the empress and the emperor together into that uh, sacred marriage, the conjunctio, the coming together. Um, and that, that is the goal of alchemy, of our spiritual process. and. Uh, that's going to bring you some uh, happiness, bliss, a wish come true. 
Sagittarius, this is um, a time where your dreams are being realized and they're being realized both within you and within your environment or this a satisfaction, this wish come true uh, is coming because it's, a wish is being granted. Uh, and it's like some problem maybe about this ending uh, is being solved, it's being balanced out. It's coming into some uh, traditional values that are gonna last and be very uh, strong and committed to a spiritual belief as well as um, how you're leading your daily life. And it's gonna bring you a satisfaction, a sexual energy here with this empress and the king of pentacles uh, and that sense of the emperor. There is a lot of a passion of the earth, of the body, of pleasure. Um, and uh, as this dream is coming true from your environment, you are going to have a lot of gratitude toward that. And you're going to feel very uh, that a Sagittarius, something in your environment or the environment itself is very sexual, physical, beautiful, uh, pleasurable, enjoyable to be around. Um, and that is... Uh, the hope and fear is the Knight of Wands. Well, this is a Sagittarius energy of the fire. And this night will go through the fire for you. Uh, this night is, has a lot of momentum. And look, there's no place on this card that this night is not <laughs> occupying with the horse. So your instincts and that intuition to drive yourself toward your, uh, what is you're very confident about. And that's what's coming now. And it's coming because you're confident and also a very seductive energy around you at this time, Sagittarius. And uh, you're full of energy. That's your hope and fear. And you're gonna rush in uh, with this passion. And um, there is a lot of change though coming with this night, comes in quickly, but maybe goes quickly. So there is a need for passionate temperance. <laughs> There's a need for uh, enjoyment of the enthusiasm, but to uh, know that things are not uh, deeply rooted. Um, and there is a sense now of understanding people's motivation towards you, Sagittarius. And what's coming as the advice is to move beyond any a sense of this poverty, lack, not being good enough, um, a feeling, uh, this is the opposite energy of uh, this feeling of satisfaction, uh, of being able to com come together with those forces of the masculine and feminine to bring them into union, to celebrate that. And you're gonna move beyond any worry, stress of not being good enough, of a feeling like you might be unemployed or not have good health. Uh, or lose your home or have health uh, or mental health issues. But that is just a fear because you're not in that phase. We know that. You're moving uh, quickly away from that. You're going to take a break from uh, any kind of di downward uh, spiral and come into balance now. And that balance is coming because it's true and just and it's the right outworkings of this situation. And this is Libra energy, so you're coming into this energy in Libra season of fairness, of um, taking responsibility for your own actions. So if there was any sense of loss or lack, you're going to uh, see that, no, that's not true. You have all the confidence and charisma you need uh, to move toward integrity of jo joining these forces uh, under the uh, authority of the Hierophant, of that Taurus energy, to move forward, be decisive, to uh, make contracts, agreements, uh, commitments, uh, legal issues are going to be resolved for you. Um, and that is coming because the wheel is turning in your favor uh, toward uh, this new destiny. You're already moving toward it with justice, with balance. <clears throat> and it's going to represent also that you know as the um, ruler of this, uh, this rule, Sagittarius, or vice versa, 
uh, that there's a movement coming, a change, a destiny, fate. This is meant to happen. This is true, this just, this balance. And you've got also um, two cards of balance. So balance is key right now. You see the scales. And um, what is coming is the wheel is... Um, all you can do is just go with this flow. Uh, and there's this promise of a better future coming. And it's good luck in this next phase. And the final uh, card is anything that you um, know is not serving your heart, what you want in this connection, in your true destiny. You're going to move quickly toward it um, and move away from any kind of disappointment or dissatisfaction. And you're going to make dramatic changes are coming. And they're coming because you're going to carry through with this plan, with this commitment. Uh, and it's going to, you're going to take action to leave, maybe change your job, change your current relationship. Um, or it indicates travel, relocation, but you might have already relocated. And you know now that that is um, bringing you this... Um, expansion this good luck this good fortune and uh, that is what i have for you sagittarius where you've got a lot of the a major arcana here uh, with the wheel and the emperor and empress so you uh start off um, as this um divine uh, couple this is the power couple of the tarot the emperor and emperor uh, and that is uh this sacred marriage could be you joining these forces within yourself. And that is your true destiny, to do that. And it's going to bring you a, a favor and good luck and expansion. And uh, you're going to expand with this emperor, empress energy. And it's just and true to take action toward this and find balance. Um, after something comes to an end, a completion, you're letting this naturally end uh, so you can uh, have this personal rebirth and to make a new commitment maybe to a spiritual a life, uh, initiation uh, into uh, the keys to the kingdom. And that could be part of this sacred marriage and it's going to bring you a wish come true, happiness, fulfillment. And uh, that is what I have for you uh, today, Sagittarius, as you come into this uh, sacred oracle around uh, the sacred marriage in nature. And uh, so it is. And thank you again for all of your uh, support through subscribing to my channel. And I hope you're gaining insights. Uh, and if you are, please leave comments about how this wish is coming true for you and what you're joining, how you're bringing these um, forces together within you. And ascending you love, Sagittarius. See you next time. Bye-bye.